Hello, my name is Magdalena Proszowska and I welcome you to my 10 minute video tutorial about how to paint realistic looking eyes. Well, the secret to paint a good looking eyes lies in understanding the anatomy. You need to keep in mind that the eyeball is a sphere object and the iris is a cavity. By surface, you can imagine it as going inside the ball. That's why we will get a shadow on the iris in this spot and shading on the eyeball will be here. And also keep in mind that the eyelids surround eyeball so they follow the geometry of the sphere. I already created a very simple sketch of the eye and I will just grab any of the painting brushes and start shading it. It is always smart to have a, a small mirror on your desk when you are painting faces uh, just to look into it and get the fresh reference of the surface of the feature, face feature that you are painting. While I am painting, I am trying to match the direction of the stroke to direction of the surface to emphasize it. Uh, thanks to Coral having very natural looking brushes, following surface with the brush strokes gives a very natural and traditional touch to the painting. It is important to remember that the eyelids have a thickness, so the uh, top eyelid will uh, drop shadow on the uh, eyeball and the bottom eyelid will catch some of the light. What I can recommend to everyone uh, who wants to paint more attractive faces is to watch uh, other tutorials about how to do makeup, uh, because doing makeup is an art in itself of how to create more appealing looking eyes and it is very beneficial when it's not always very intuitive to look into it. Uh, the uh, best looking eyes aren't the natural eye, uh, but the eyes that have a makeup on top of it. So understanding how and why makeup is applied, it really helps out to make uh, eyes uh, in your portraits looking really, really great. Some of those decisions that I made uh, are based on uh, not exactly the uh, realism, uh, but applied makeup on top of it. Uh, for example, this highlight on the top eyelid uh, is not a color of the skin, it's actually a light uh, eyeshadow. Uh, yeah, I am really recommending just looking to some makeup videos and uh, getting to know it really helps out. I turn off the sketch at this point, I really don't need it any longer and I will just focus on uh, shading and creating the correct surfaces. When it comes to painting, the edge control is really important aspect. Um, and by edge I don't only mean the outline of neighboring object like uh, edge of the face and uh, beginning of the hair and the edge can be also inside the object for example uh, the curvature of the nose is an edge uh, and it goes from hard to the soft one uh, and looking for those kind of edges in uh, the face um, really brings out the dimensionality As I mentioned earlier, the iris is a cavity, so uh, it will have a shadow at the top um, part and it will catch light at the bottom part. When you observe the iris, how it looks in reality, you will clearly see that there is no hard edge between white of the eye and the color of the iris, but there is actually a soft edge. And when I really want to have a very hard edge uh, for the 
blackness of the iris I will just grab a selection, uh, select a circle and color it black. For eyelashes I will create a new layer because uh, it's much easier to edit or if I want to fix something it is always better to have it as separate object from the main painting instead of uh, over painting it on already existing one. I am flipping canvas horizontally to see any mistakes that I am doing in painting and I instantly see that I made one of the iris too small so I will grab a selection and rescale it and fit it to the specific place I want it to be and uh, blend uh, the any edges that uh, were created in the process. The final touch is the reflection in the eye and for creating the reflection I also created a new layer, uh, grab a selection and I want to make uh, this feeling of a window uh, reflected in the eye. So I make the selection that fits it, uh, also create a shadow of the eye sh uh, eyelashes on the reflection and just fill it with the areograph or any similar soft uh, edged brush. And the same process for the bottom reflection. When it comes to the eyebrows there is a really cool uh, rule or a trick how to set the uh, placement of it and the eyebrows should start with the corner of the eye and the curvature of the eyebrow should be placed aligned with the line from uh, top of the nose uh, through the iris. And that will be our eyebrow that is a neutral because my eyebrow on the right side is with the gesture so it's raised I cannot really follow it but I keep it in mind at least that it starts with the corner of the eye. So I am adding the last touches uh, the hair uh, I overpainted in the progress of painting the eye I bring them back right now and I am pretty much done. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, leave any comment if you have any more questions for me about the process of painting and have a great day.